again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm here on my flying toilet that shoots out alligators from the last episode of the Scribble Knots Unlimited Commentary for the Wii U. And the first thing that I'll say about Dr. Kendo commentaries, if you are new to this, is that for Scribble Knots, I am basically taking requests or suggestions for items for me to create. They can be completely outlandish and crazy, or they can just be pretty normal, low key items and stuff. So, <laughs> on the last episode, that's why I'm flying on this toilet and it actually shoots out alligators. So for today's item suggestions, we have Moises or Moises, Moises F606, and it will be spelled out at the bottom, so if I am getting anybody's name wrong, I assure you I am spelling it correctly down at the bottom, or at least based on how your username appears on YouTube when you comment. So, Moises F606 says... He wants to see a semi-auto rifle that shoots knives. And so a semi-automatic rifle, uh, all you really need to type for that is rifle. So here we go, we've got a rifle. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it to the ground. Oh geez, there's a little kid around. <laughs> Can't trust him around that rifle. Okay, so there we've got the rifle. That's our basic item there. So now, to make it shoot knives, we just need to edit the object. And so what I'm going to do is go to the scripting tool, it's all the way over to the right. And yes, this is a weapon that you go to where it says projectile, it shoots, and you do... You have to erase that, okay, so then you do knife. So it's going to shoot out knives. And let's see, is there anything else we want from it? I think that's good. Okay, so I'll just do, for the name of this, I'll just do semi-auto rifle. Alright, so here's our semi-auto rifle. Let's give us a target. Quite literally. And we will attack it. BAM! Blasted it with a knife. That was actually very hard to see, so... Let's go ahead and we'll destroy this toilet here. Attack it. It was trying to blast alligators at me, but I took it down with the knife shooting rifle. So this thing's pretty powerful. Um, Koopa always seems to be my test dummy. There we go. Let's set off a Koopa. Poor Koopa. <laughs> so yes, the semi-auto rifle that shoots knives is a success. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the backpack. There we go. All right, and so next... We have a request from Speed Swiper, who asks for a nice, dancing, scared, hypnotizing, suicidal zombie who has an evil bomb right next to him. And so, the way to do this is we want to try, try to type as many of those things as we can. So let's see, we'll go with nice, dancing, suicidal, scared... Hypnotizing. Zombie. Alright, so here's this zombie. It's gonna be all hypnotizing. It's probably gonna mess with everybody here, so... Let's see if we can get it kind of out of the way. Alright, so there's our... <laughs> let's click on him. You can see down at the bottom it says dancing, scared, hypnotizing, suicidal zombie. So for whatever reason it cut out the nice. But it looks like we have everything else. So what we'll do here is we'll create an evil bomb. And so then I'm going to go ahead and edit this object real fast. So there's our evil bomb. I gave it some eyes. Let's see. Let's save that. All right. And so there's what's going to happen. The zombie took it and oh, it exploded because the bomb, it's suicidal and it's evil. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's going to come after me. I'm just going to sit here and ow, damn evil. Bow! <laughs> so the, <laughs> Jesus, the guy right there, the, uh, I guess that was like the pizza dude or whatever. <laughs> we helped him on a mission before he, uh, was very angry and tried to throw his pizza delivery box at the bomb. <laughs> and so before ending, I just wanted to show off that I have the blue shell item that from a few episodes back, it was like two episodes back, 
And I uh, just wanted to show you that it has been edited. It now has wings and everything. And somebody actually recommended that instead of uh, triangles, which I used for the shape of the horns or the spikes or whatever, they said to use white cone as the object. And so that would look like this. So right there is what it would look like. And so there, if we want to give it a white cone on the top maybe or something to give it some shading, that might work. So let's see, let's uh, shrink it down a bit. All right, so now we've got our blue shell here with the white cones as the items and stuff, and it kind of just gives it a little bit of shading. So that's pretty neat, I'd say. So I'll go ahead and save it as it is now. And remember to look out for that in Punctuation Plaza. I'll be saving a bunch of the items that I create uh, in case I want to bring them out and for an episode or something in the future. I'll put them in that backpack, the magical backpack on the top left of the screen if you're controlling the gamepad, which you guys can't see. But that's not important for now. What is important is that I catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing. And down the road up with